Definitely a dancer because of my mom. She put me in dance when I was three years old and she kind of pushed me ever since. And at times, definitely when I was getting into my teen years, I would be a little annoyed or frustrated because I wasn't able to do everything that my friends were doing. Well, when you're put into something when you're three, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know when it became my thing. I just, it was my hobby and it clicked with my body. So I kept it going and I liked it, it was fun. Ballet can be strict. I guess it depends what your training is like growing up. Patrick France, Chatsworth, California. French man, taught me everything I know. Uh, he was very, his class was great because I was probably 15, 16, and then there were the older girls in class that I was able to observe and see what I liked about their artistry and maybe mimic things that I thought looked good on them. So I think Observing in a class is really important. So it's good to be in a situation where you're around other good dancers, which is a privilege. <laughs> and it, it helps to be observing somebody with the same training background as you. So we were in the class with the same teacher and then Maybe you see her moving at a different speed than the other dancers, and I decide that I like that speed that she's moving at. I'll try to mimic that and create my own personal style through watching somebody else. And I think we all do that, no matter what the art is. If you like a certain basketball player, maybe you copy the way he does free throw. If you like a certain style of music, maybe you pull from a certain song and create your own. I was in a variation class. It was the end of the end of the day and I did a turn and I dislocated my knee, which was really scary because you feel so um, invincible as a dancer if you don't have an in if you've never had an injury. And then once you do go through something like that, you feel like from that point on, you're walking on um, eggshells. That's a saying, right? <laughs> it's scary. Once you hurt yourself, you, I feel like you, or at least I felt like I was never really giving it my all after that just because I was scared. But yeah, I dislocated my knee, which was a big deal. I had to go home early. And after that, I actually, I started doing different styles of dance, more contemporary based, just because it allowed me to have more freedom and be more comfortable thinking about my knee. When you're first starting out, technique is a big deal. You don't really have an opportunity to have your own style until you nail down that technique in class. If you don't have technique, you don't really have the strength to do something different. There is a great community of dance in New York. I always wanted to discover that and see what it was like for myself. I think mind and body is in a relationship. <laughs> they are a pair and they should always be connected.